welcome to TOWIE, the official after party. I'm your host, Bobby Norris, and I'll be bringing you even more exclusive TOWIE goss. But of course, I can't do that on my own, so I'm joined by TOWIE superfan and The Sun journalist, Hannah Hope. How are you, Han? I'm excited to be here. Oh, I love that you're here. Thanks, my love. And the legendary JJ Anasiobi is back for even more gossip. Woo! Hey. How are you, mate? <laughs> I'm doing well, Bobby. I'm doing well, thank Good. you. It's a pleasure to have you here. <laughs> now, along with these guys, I've got an extra special glam guest. She's the yin to my yang, the sweet to my sour, the gin to my tonic. It's my real life BFF, Seth. Darling! <laughs> Seth, how much have you missed me? I'm heartbroken. Missed you so much, but you are in your glory, Bob. And this is so you. And I'm so excited to be here. Oh, thank you for joining me. I feel like we've got a fab little panel here tonight. Oh, we have. Can feel it in the gallbladder. It's going to be a good show. <laughs> gallbladder? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Now, one of tonight's highlights for me was seeing our resident love guru, Pete, taking matters into his own hands. It got everyone together and organised a cheeky little singles night. Guys, I'm so excited that we're all at this singles night and I've brought my two single friends with me. Right? This is Shad Phil and this is... Phil. 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 Staff, I actually know Shad. Oh, do you? Yeah, well, I know him as Dr Shad. Can I ask you a question? <laughs> of course you can. Do women ask you to wear your doctor's outfit? I, I don't really have a doctor. He's not a doctor, he's a dentist. I'm a dentist, to be Same fair. Same thing, you, dentist you still outfit. Wear yeah, the but... <laughs> <laughs> Love was very much in the air in this week's episode, with some of the gang mingling on a singles night out. Now, you can't keep me away from a good party, so I got myself down there and went to find out what was happening from our very own Saf and Miss Frankie Sims. <laughs> I personally always used to love filming in a nightclub because it's where all the cast come together, we have a little drink, and although there's cameras on us, obviously, and there's producers and everything around, it's a genuine night out. So we're being filmed, but uh, everything you see really is real. And this is where a lot of the tea gets spilled. We all sit in the little booths and have a good little gossip and an out. Tell me about tonight. I hear that this is your first Essex night out and it's a single night. Are you looking for love? I'm ready to date and get to know new people and just explore a little bit. Grab a few little drinkies tonight. Mm -hmm. Yeah, 100%. Grab a few little drinks for some Dutch courage and hopefully yeah. meet a nice fella. So Saf's just finished filming. We're going to go over, have a little chat and see what's been going on the last few days now everyone is back in Essex. It's Essex single night. Yeah. Me and Amy have now got dating profiles. Yeah. Okay. Back on the scene, getting back on the scene, Bob. Yeah. Been caught by surprise. Oh. Been asked on a date. Bio, tell me everything. Demi's brought two guys of her, they're taking me and Amy out. He's tall, dark. Yeah. A trader. Arrow. Oh, where's he going to take you, sir? Rooftop drinks and dinner, apparently. Oh, nice. Of course, by surprise. One minute we were doing our dating profiles, next minute we've come to a singles night, and now we're going out. And now he's popping bottles. Yeah. Oh, Ooh. good work, Bobby. Ooh. Great work, mate. Saf, so you're single, but are you ready to mingle? Do you know what? I wasn't ready to mingle. I have spent a long, long time on my own, but I'm back out there. And the singles night done me a world of good. And what are you looking for in a man? Apart from the obvious. <laughs> What's the obvious, <laughs> Saf? <laughs> you know, the day drop. <laughs> 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 so did you put anything into practice that Guru Pete told you? Well, he did tell me, don't rush into things and be yourself. I was myself, put it that way. And how did that work out for you? You'll see. <laughs> and do you enjoy dating? No. <laughs> <laughs> I can't stand it, I've got to be honest. How long have you been single? So I've been single 18 months, but I was with, I've was with i been in relationships for 12 years prior to oh that. So I've never done the dating thing. Wow. So as you know, Bob, very out of my comfort zone. Mm. Um, so the idea is me and Amy sort of getting back in the mix, seeing really what I like in someone, because I don't have the type, you know? You're going to be good. Do you think? I think you're going to have fun. Just Do enjoy you? it, yeah, yeah. I think you're going to be a pro. But listen, I'm back in the saddle. Yeah. Woo! I'm ready to ride it. Absolutely. And you ride it, sir. <laughs> you ride it. Now, here in Essex, we believe in the power of a good old sage and a couple of crystals to keep the bad energy at bay. And more importantly, the drama. Basically, we're connecting with Mother Nature and the way to do it is connect with the ground. Right, there's ground over there that ain't wet. 
So why couldn't we just walk barefoot over there? Because this is really good for the soul. Listen, I'm not very good at, at dating people myself, but yeah. advice I am very good at. Okay. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to ding and you'll go, help me Guru Pete together. Yeah, okay. All right, you ready? I would like to get rid of bad energy. Good. <laughs> <laughs> So, so the question is, do you feel renewed after your mud cleanse? <laughs> Bob, I'll be honest, I've tried everything. <laughs> I have tried everything, cleansing, saging, but that was, um, what's the word, when you feel euphoric? Is that the word? Euphoric, yeah. yeah I felt wow. very euphoric after that. I sort of, it's out of the ordinary, and I just let it all go in the, in the debris. And how was the water? <laughs> Any snakes pop out? There's always snakes popping out, Bob. <laughs> Not the right snakes. I mean, I was looking for, I was looking around for a leech or two. On that note, I'm going to move it on, Seth, you little minx. <laughs> was Pete's like, little therapy session any good? Right, Pete's therapy session. I've realised Pete is very good at giving advice. Mm. He knows the ins and outs of relationships, dating. But he will admit he's not the best at staying in the relationship and... Taking it to the end. Not the best. He's terrible. Pete has dated more girls than anyone else in yeah. entire history. I can't understand why you got in a pond because Pete Wicks told you to. No, no, no. That was my idea. I took them to the pond. But right. Pete, Pete was only going to get in the pond with us, but he found a role and he was the guru, Pete. And he started giving us this advice. Well, me and Amy were gobsmacked. We were like, actually, he knows his stuff. And of course he knows his stuff. He is a serial dater. Yeah. <laughs> but um, I liked that side of Pete. Hannah, do you think Pete will find his own fairy tale ending? Well, he's an old soul, isn't he, Pete? Yeah. He seems to have an old head on his shoulders. I mean, I'm surprised you managed to take any advice in because his jeans were so tight. <laughs> I, don't, I don't know how you managed to look at anything else. But um, I think he will find his princess eventually. I kind of hope he ends up with lovely Chloe Sims, though. I feel like there's some magic mm. in the air whenever they're together. So Amy obviously rocked up with rollers in her hair. Did you tip her off and say, right, babe, it's mud cleansing? Or did she think he was going shopping down Brentwood High Road? No, Amy and Pete knew fully where we were going. But I think they were playing up, you know, like school kids. <laughs> so she thought, I'll just Didn't put the rollers in. Didn't want to do it. So they thought, yeah, we'll look our part. She put the rollers in. <laughs> yeah. And then... I come in the active wear, ready and prepared. <laughs> but um, I think she enjoyed it. Now, if I could say to you, build your ideal man out of all the chaps on Tower Talk to me. Whose who's personality? Whose height? Whose body? How long you got, Bob? <laughs> I've got all night. <laughs> <laughs> Diags, banter, personality. Mm. Lockheed, bit of a naughtier banter. Um, hair. Pete, Pete's eyes. I like the long hair. Mm. Not when it's in the top knot, though. You like it yeah, flowing? Yeah, flowing, you yeah. know, whish swishing round. Oh, Whose yeah. body, Saf? Lockheed's got the best body on the show. Come on. Oh, <laughs> <tell him now>. <laughs> <laughs> oh, now, Seth, we'll get back to your love life in just a minute. But first, we need to dive into the drama that's had all of Essex buzzing. Had you made some great decisions since you've been back? Yeah, well, not the best always, yeah. but... I think the whole thing's just laughable. And... What thing? Just the whole situation. I think even with me and you, I don't look back. He's a big part of my life, and... We spend you a lot know. of time together. Look, it's sad. It, look, that, that, that what happened? That chapter's close. Yeah, of course. Oh. oh. What do you think? Well, I think that Yaz needs to have a little roll around with Pete to see how old Lockie oh. feels. Oh. Oh. Now, running into an ex is never the easiest thing on a night out. So I caught up with Lockie just to see how he was feeling. <laughs> What is happening with you and Chloe Brockett? It's a bit of fun. It is what it is. I'm a single man. It was a bit of fun. Do you know what I've always been in relationships, you know. I need to give myself a little bit of time on my own. Mm. Don't get me wrong, I know I'm getting a bit older now, but <laughs> I've never give myself time to breathe. So I've got a lot going on at the minute as well, work-wise. So I just want to, like, concentrate on that and just crack on. Yeah. So you both kind of just agreed to, you're just moving on? We're just moving on. Yeah. Of course she wants more because she's human, you know, and I'm, <laughs> you know, I'm it. it was a bit of fun. We're friends. Obviously we've got to talk about the elephant in the room. Yaz has arrived tonight. How did that chat go? I promise you, there's no animosity there. Like me and her have always been good. So like you know, you've, you've been around us. It's yeah. just when we're good, we're good. And when we're bad, 
it's like, you know, I'm glad that she's back, she's happy, she's looking well. She's doing her thing and I'm doing my thing. Who do you reckon there's going to be like a little bit of bubbling up tension? With, with Amber and, and the Sims, the boys are trying to make it gel. I think there's a lot, there's a lot that's happened. Well, you know there's always drama, yep. you know, because we are a load of, I'll be polite, characters. But do you know what I'm Look, I, I'm probably the world's worst, but I think it's good. So it's, look, it makes it interesting, doesn't it? Yeah. I can't believe he's called Yaz an elephant. <laughs> <laughs> JJ, don't stir the pot. It's a very famous expression. Now, Seth, back in Sandbanks, you gave Chloe Brockett a little bit of friendly advice. I did. What advice would you give to Yaz? <laughs> Run for the hills! <laughs> no, do you know what? I've got to be honest with you guys. We're going to see them back together. Mm. Hannah, what are you saying, babes? Ooh, I don't know. I think that they would be wise to stay separate because their arguments, like, they were kind of, like, World War Three. they were scary to watch. And mm. Lockie seems in a really chill, playful place. Like, he just seems really happy. I'd, if I was single, I'd definitely go on a date with him. Maybe uh, you should go there, Saf. JJ, you're obviously <laughs> mates with Lockie. Do you think he got away with this a little bit lightly and maybe more than he probably should have? Bobby, he did nothing wrong. I'll keep saying it. He's nothing to get away with because he did nothing wrong it's whatsoever. The SS code. You know, people look at it as in you never cross that line when you've been friends with someone. So if Lockie put it on you, would you say no? Yeah. Oh. oh. I would. Seth, so, do you think it's possible for exes to ever be friends? Uh, yeah. In a way, I do. I think if it's left sort of civil, not too painful, then I think you can get back in a place where you're friends. And what's the best way to move on from someone, would you say? Because it's always a little bit tricky. Well, everyone tells me you get under someone else, but... <laughs> oh, you've got I to get under someone yeah, to get over them. I don't believe that. It's never been my motto, but, but then again, I'm still suffering, so maybe <laughs> I've done it wrong. <laughs> well, it wasn't too long ago that Diag's tried his hand at bringing his friends back together. But is there enough water that's passed under that bridge yet? Dan's my best pal and he obviously loves her and we enjoy spending time with you a lot and I would like it to yeah. be that we can all go out of it. Does that mean that when we're all in a room together, if Dan's over with us girls having a laugh, is Amber going to be upset about that or are we all going to be like civil that's about it? That's what I'm trying to say. That's one. The point I'm trying to make is it's got to be sweet. It can't, it's not yeah. a one-way thing. Diags, it might have to be you in the middle of us and Amber. I'll happily do that. Seth, would you say it's possible to ever become friends with someone after you've fallen out on quite a, a big scale? Do you know what? I think you could always say hello and leave it there, but friends, no, not, not if it's got as bad as it got, I don't think. What would you say is the foundations for like a good, long-lasting friendship? Loyalty, trust, um, and honesty. I can't stand the back behind the back stuff. Those girls have also got to want to be friends for it to work. It doesn't yeah. seem that The Sims and Amber actually want to be friends. Hannah, do you think there'll ever be an Essex world where everyone can just be friends and get on? Oh God, I hope not. There'd be no show <laughs> otherwise, would there? We love a bit of drama. This but I do true. like it when, you know, there are a few events throughout the Essex calendar where everyone's laughing and having a dance, having a drink. Not for too long, but, you know, just a few <laughs> scenes. Do you think I should call the truce with the girls? Yes, go on. Then you can fall out again. <laughs> True. <laughs> and Seth, what do you think? Do you think there's hope for the Sim sisters and Dan and Amber to all become civil? I won't say that... friends, let's say civil, because friends is probably pushing it. What, the Sim sisters becoming friends with them? Yeah. Where's the hope? Well, I'm, I'm asking you, is it possible? <laughs> and I'm asking you where the hope is. <laughs> so what are you saying? No chance. <laughs> Forget it. <laughs> Forget it. <laughs> now, everyone knows that this Essex lot can be a gobby old bunch, often landing themselves right in it. But we might have found a person to fix all of that with her sage advice. Here's a sneaky peek from a clip in episode three with Towie's very own agony aunt. Hello, sir. I'm just calling in because I'm, I'm wondering if you can help me. I've got a... Is that Diax? No, it's Steve. Stevie Shins. That's Diag. I've just got a little bit of a problem. Um, I'm stuck between two friendship groups. I'm trying to get them to be civil. I was wondering if you've got any advice for me. My advice is forget it. <laughs> <laughs> and I said it again. <laughs> so would you say you're good at giving people advice? I'm very good at giving advice. Um, I'm, I'm an old soul. Is that the word? Old, yeah. old head on young shoulders, uh -huh. that's it, isn't it? But um, 
yeah. I'm here for it. I think I'm you're direct and honest, which is yeah. really important when giving advice. You don't beat around the bush. Yeah, but definitely. The, but the question is, you can give it, but can you take it? How are you at <laughs> taking it? Sam? I can take it, baby. Advice we're talking <laughs> about, you little minx. <laughs> Do you know what? I'm not overly good at, at taking it. I think as I've got older, I've actually realised that what I know is what I know. Mm. And listening, especially in this relationship dating world at the minute, I like to hear it, but I always tend to project advice rather than receive. It's a subconscious thing, I think. Yeah. Because you know what you're saying is going to help someone else, yeah. but it's very... Yeah, I get what you mean. It's a made. strange old thing. No, you and Pete Wicks are the same then, aren't you? No, because I have had a successful love life. <laughs> <laughs> you said it. <laughs> so, Saf, what advice should you be taking? Because obviously you've acknowledged that you don't take it very well. At the moment, the advice I'm taking is put yourself first and be yourself and get out there. I'm listening this time, Bob. Listen, girl, listen. <laughs> JJ, who else would you say on Tower is kind of good at giving advice? You know, I think Roman. Uh, he's only Aww. 19, but he's very sensible. Or Dan Edgar, when he's not doing this with his hair <laughs> every two minutes. <laughs> Dan Edgar, but don't talk, JJ. Oh, Dan Edgar, <laughs> when he does talk, he's got some proper good advice, though. <laughs> oh, <I actually, laughs> Miss Chloe Sims. Chloe I think Sims. she's. I think she yeah. gives good advice. When when she gets that maternal side out, I could just listen to her all day. I think I think she is really good at being objective and seeing like the lad side and the girl side. She manages to be a girl's girl and one of the boys. Uh, actually, <laughs> I did go to advice uh, to Chloe for advice. On that note, that's all we've got time for today. Thank you so much, Hannah, JJ, and of course my BFF Saffron for joining me here on the Towie official after party. I'll be back next week with some more Essex tea and an exclusive insight from our Towie faves. See you then.